Welcome back to Hannity. So as we reported last night, the Hills John Solomon out with another huge, massive bombshell story on the FBI's investigation into Hillary Clinton's private email server. According to this report, Deputy FBI Director Andrew McCabe, he issued an email declaring that the Clinton investigation has been given a, quote, special status and would be handled by a small team of high-ranking FBI officials. And there's more tonight on the Russian bribery case. Reuters now has released the name of the FBI informant, the one that had the NDA lifted. John is also reporting that tonight the Democratic senator from the state of California, Diane Feinstein, wants to speak with him. Joining us now, The Hill's John Solomon, along with investigative reporter Sarah Carter. Um, I don't even know where to begin. The fact that this informant's name was released that's troublesome to me, but more troublesome, I want, I'll let you both address this, John, first. More troublesome is the fact that their Justice Department is leaking, oh, he doesn't have any information, when I know that's a lie. Yeah, no, you're right, John. Uh, we have seen uh, the Attorney General, Jeff Sessions, tried to say there's no connection between Uranium One and the uh, Mikrin, uh Russian bribery case. We've seen the Deputy Attorney General say that. And now we saw two anonymous officials in a Reuters story saying that. And what we'll say back to that is I think people should tune into the Hill next week. We'll show people the real FBI documents, what the FBI learned in real time about the Russian bribery case and its connection to Uranium One. There'll be no doubt about it when we put those documents into the public domain. I, I, I've, I've said to you, you guys are going to be Woodward and Bernstein by the time this is all over. Um, and Sarah, let me get your take on this. You know who the FBI informant is. You both know. You have both talk to him. We know who the attorney is. How extensive? They're trying to downplay what he has. Sarah, how extensive is it? And what do you think of the release of his name? Well, I, I know he's very concerned about the release of his name. He did not authorize that, although he was contacted by the reporter from Reuters. Um, I spoke to him and asked him, what would you want me to say? Uh, and this was through his attorney when, when I speak to Sean tonight. And one of the things that he'd, he'd like to get out there is, you know, at the time that he, the, uh, the reporter contacted him, you know, he's been, he's been terribly ill. He's been battling cancer. He's been in a battle not only with the U.S. government, but, but he is very sick and he's been battling cancer and going through chemo. And, you know, all of these now are coming out. So he is in a battle for not only his life, but in a battle against what he perceives as people within the U.S. government that don't want the story to come out. But there is so much information, Sean, that he is willing to share with the public to set the record straight. And believe me, we're going to get it out there. He is going to have his say. His voice will be Four heard. years in informant. He knew about the bribery, extortion, kickbacks, money laundering of Putin's agents, if you will, in the U.S.? Yes. And he will be able to lay that all out for everyone. And he will do that for Congress and specifically for Congress. And I, I know, you know, John and I have been working on this for months and months and months. Another clarification um, in the story, they called him a lobbyist. He was not a lobbyist. He was a consultant, which was very different. And remember, he was the one that came to the U.S. government. He came to the Justice Department with this information. I'm, I'm guessing, John, at the end of this, this, this FBI informant is going to end up being the hero. That helps the. Go ahead. Yeah, he, I don't know whether Harold, I mean, that's other people's decisions to put white hats and black hats on people, but he is going to be an extraordinary fact witness because he gathered so much information. There are videotapes where the Russians are opening up briefcases full of cash. These are the people that we then gave uranium to, that we then gave nuclear fuel contracts to. And, when and people the, see these way, videotapes. All this is happening before they sign off on uranium. That's right. They knew about Correct. bribery, extortion, kickbacks, money laundering before they knew this was Putin. They did it anyway. The Russians must think we are really dumb. Uh, that's funny that you would say that, Sean, because there was a conversation that the uh, informant attended where they actually said that about Americans, and we'll be reporting on that soon. But the Russians right. really thought they had played America on this one. Wow. Uh, all right. We will get to the bottom of this. Let me go back to this story about McCabe. We had the tarmac meeting. We had, Sarah, uh, it, it's not an investigation, it, it's a matter. We had the exoneration letters written beforehand. Now Andrew McCabe had given a special status. Is that equal justice under the law, Sarah? Special status? Do I get special status when they're investigating me? 
No, we don't. And according to FBI law enforcement officials who were involved in the investigation, that is something that they were so concerned about. Um, you know, a lot of these FBI agents had reported this, and they are reporting this. So this is something that's very important. There was no special status for other people, but there was special status for Hillary Clinton. And we can see progressively by all the evidence what uh, former director James Comey did and how he changed things. Um, gross net negligence was removed. Uh, so these That's are right. a lot of issues that I think Congress as well as the DOJ is looking into. Remember, there is an inspector general's investigation. So we will see where this will lead. But I can tell you this, Sean, there are FBI agents out there that that truly believed there was no equal justice here. Thank God for those those good, good few. John, don't think you slipped it past me with me not catching it that you talked <laughs> about next week and you talked about yep. Monday. And don't think you're getting off the show without me asking you specifically where you're going with this next step, because this is unpeeling the layers of an onion. And I think when we get to the core, it's going to be pretty rotten. Yeah, listen, we, uh, there are now allegations in the public that this guy didn't have anything to do with Uranium One reporting, and we, we're going to be able to show that that's simply not true. And you have that to Reuters ask yourself was wrong why. Today. Could I, oh, that the Justice Department leak was wrong? Well, the, what, the, what the lawyers are quoted as saying, that they don't think there's any connection to Uranium One and the Meeker in case, we, we, we have seen documentation that absolutely refutes that. Sarah? Absolutely. It absolutely refutes that. So... Stay tuned. Let me go back to the Russian dossier, Sarah. I'll stick with you on this because this is another matter. We we went over the email service. I think that will still come back into play. But on the on the Russian dossier, we know that Hillary bought and paid for this with Michael Steele, and we know that it was false, and we know it was salacious, and yet they ran with it to influence an election. Here's my question: If if they're looking at Trump Russia collusion and they have nothing, even the Manafort indictment is nothing related to this and you've got hillary paying a guy that's getting flies from russia why is that not investigated by robert Mueller, sarah who knows i mean i don't know maybe he is we would hope that he would be i mean this is expansive investigation right he went way beyond the realm of what we thought he would be investigating when he wrapped up paul manafort and the others into uh into, and gave them the, you know and handed out the indictments so we just don't know i don't want to make any assumptions there but we do know what we do know is that ju the judiciary committee other committees are looking at this very closely we know that glenn simpson who is the owner right. of uh, Fusion GPS, testified and, and also talked about spreading this dossier but what about, what to about journalists. Sessions, what, what about Sessions' testimony this week about a special counsel and reaching the standard? Well, I can only hope that Sessions stands by his word, that the attorney general stands by his word, and that he moves forward with that. All right, guys, we're looking forward to uh, that report.